hello guys so today we are developing guys front end using react js okay so in last two videos guys already i told how to create node.js apis like crud apis we have created guys if you have, if you have not seen that video till then you can watch my two videos guys which i have already created okay so by using that apis only we are developing the crud operations using react okay so in this video we will fully focus on this front end only guys because already apis are ready so just we are taking that apis which uh, that api we are created in node.js okay so fine so in this how the uh, front end will be like you can see guys uh, when you create a product you can create product also okay so and when you want to if you want to edit you can edit if you want to delete you can delete guys so if you want to update you can do that so that uh, front end only we are designing guys okay first we'll create the file guys for that okay so guys here we will create one uh, file uh, means like new folder so here i'll give name like uh, we are developing react front end okay and with node backend so i'll give name like react crud underscore node okay you can give any name what you feel good that you can do guys okay then what i will do is i'll go here and i'll open this with uh vs code okay so here it is opening so just open the terminal okay so we have created one folder guys so in this only we are creating our application okay so what you need to do is just go here and we will create a react application by using vtap vjs okay so just type here vjs dot there okay because it is easy guys by using vt so we are using vt only okay so here is get started okay here you can see guys or uh, if you come below now here you will get okay so here just copy this link that is at latest and go on um, whatever we open there only just paste it here and create one application yes okay so here we are creating react application now and get guys watch this video full because here you will learn the front end guys and with uh, ebay integration everything you will learn guys so i'm requesting you don't miss anything just uh what i can say huh? just watch this full video okay so uh, here we need to give guys project name so what i'll give here um, what i should give react underscore node because already i have going to react crud node there so here i react node front end i'll add okay so react node front end so it is done then here it will ask the framework which you are using so here i'll select react guys okay and here it will add ask for variant so i'll select here javascript okay so it is done guys so our project is open you can see guys here is my react underscore node underscore front end okay so uh, if i close this uh, i'll go in desktop guys right now okay so i'll open this open it this i'll close because i want only this one so i'll copy this then next step what we need to do is after that we need to do the npm install okay so just do this npm install so it will create the required file that is node model files guys so here i'm installing okay npm install so guys here it will take some time so let's have tea if you want to have tea if you want to <laughs> okay water or anything you can take break for this day while installation okay so what i'll do guys i'll just pause this and i'll come okay so guys uh, you can see our installation is done so what i'll do i'll just run now and we'll see whether okay anyway, uh, now we'll see guys whether my react is working correctly or not so i have done now that is the npn run dev if you go here the next step is this only okay? just run this okay so here it is running it just copy it 
come here and paste it here okay so here uh, you can see guys my react is working fine there is no issue okay and one more thing guys here we are, we are fetching a uh, backend api set so you need to start your node js guys so node api whatever node says api are there just start this okay so then only it will work otherwise it will not work so okay let's start and keep like that only okay so this is done guys next what we will do guys we'll um, here we are using guys telvin okay telvin css so for that we need to install that first right so to use that go here and type just telvin css we need to install so go here okay intelwin.com then get started here guys using forces okay don't use this it's just go in framework guides guys here we are using wheat right means we have installed react by using wheat so click on this then next here we need to follow this terminal okay so first one is there just uh, skip this guys we don't want this just use this okay so go here copy it first we need to install so the uh, installation we are doing guys okay for that we need to come out from here so i'm coming out just paste it okay then next step is what next is this guys in excel win in it okay so after this we'll install that So here guys it will take some time for installation so we must and should have some patience and guys i'm not skipping anything uh, if the installation process is more than that time i'll cut some part otherwise everything is there guys i'm not like cutting and all nothing i'm doing guys you will not face any error i'm i'm giving guarantee okay and if you're facing any error you can comment that i'll answer for that also okay so that is done the next command i have taken is this one that i am installing now okay so this is this installation is also done guys right? so next what step we need to follow then next follow this okay just go in uh, go guys in telwin.config.js so in that first i'll copy this guys and i'll go in my telvin okay configure.js okay so instead of this content i'll add that so you also follow the same thing it's instead of that content just add this content here okay and next is next step is guys we need to go in index.css and just we need to paste this in that code so i'm going here just check index.css so where it is index okay index of css so this is css normal react css so just remove it everything and just press this here okay okay this is done then next what we need to do is just next run this and pin run dev okay then after that what we need to do is just in app.jsx we need to add this okay that is this hello world so i'll copy this and I'll go in my app.jsx so here is my app.jsx guys so I don't want this all things so what we will do we'll remove this yeah, so app.css also we are not using it okay so we will delete only this we don't want okay then app.jsx so what i will do is i'll remove everything and we'll create one more rfc okay arrow functional we will create okay and here i'll add that okay so whatever code i have copied right that i'm adding here guys now we'll see whether my tailwind is working means underlying everything is coming to my hello world or not so just and go here 
I'm turning. Okay, you can see guys, my Tailwind CS is applied. Suppose, if I remove this, you can see how it will be. You can see guys, hello, what is how? Okay, but when I add this here, it is working means of why I'm showing is means my Tailwind is working for that I'm showing this. You can see guys. Okay. Font is bold, underline and text is this. Fine. So this is done guys means the what I can say guys. First step is completed. Then next what we need to do guys. Next we will uh, see guys for this. Now here is app.js6 okay. So we are developing here. You can see guys here we are using like create products. So you can see guys here the root is create. And if I go in edit, the root is edit and the ID right ID is there. So these are the roots guys. Okay. So we need to create separate root folder, right? So for that, what we need to install, we need to install this React Router dot. So for that, what I'll do, just go here guys and just check for React Router DOM. Okay, we need to install this guys. So I'm coming. I came here, okay. Because we are using that. So here you can see guys here one link is there. Just copy that link, come here and install that. I'll come out from this. Paste it here. Okay, so my React Router DOM is installing. Okay, so installation is done guys. So what we will do, we'll just follow some steps from here guys. So just go here in documentation. Where is it? Okay, guide. We'll go and guide it. So here just check for router component. Components. Here just go browser router. Okay. So guys, here you can see this we are using in our code because browser router we will use guys. So just copy it. Come here. This one guys. Okay. Just copy it come here and we'll go here in main.js guys okay so here we need to paste it okay so here is my browser router the next is what guys next we need to follow so my whatever the application is there it should be in browser router okay so i have to copy this and my app this app will come in my browser router guys so just copy it cut sorry cut it and paste it here Okay, so here it is there. Now I'll run this and we'll see. And when run dev. Okay, now it is running. Mm, okay, this is my. Okay, see guys. I have added this in browser router. It is working fine that is good okay so next what we will do guys next we'll create some roots okay so that we will create in my app.js so here we need to create roots so for that what i'll do guys just i'll remove this all things okay so first we'll create a router okay router is created and inside that will create a root okay so this is my root Fine. So uh, we need to import this guys. Suppose if you are uh, uh, using your root or router that we need to import here. So I will import guys that is from import router and root. Both we are importing from oh. from react router dom so here we are importing guys okay so here okay this is done guys next what we will do guys uh, we'll create a home page so before that what i'll do here i'll take one index oh what is happening here oh i'm typing and just not able to type something it's mouse issue okay so here I'll take index element. So this is my home page, guys. Whatever the home page will be there, that will come here. Okay.
for that guys what i will do i'll create here pages okay so for that uh, i'll create here one page so one folder i'll create so the name not in assets i want in source okay so the name will be pages so in this pages what we'll do create home page guys that is home page dot jsx okay so this is done so here we'll quickly we'll create a component so this is component only home page or jsx is component guys okay rfc so i'm writing this function okay i'll take r a f c okay arrow functions fine so here what i'll do i'll write like this is an home page okay so this is home page is ready so this home page we need to use here guys okay so what i'll do i'll just take here that home page okay so you can see guys here it is imported okay here i'm getting error so it should be curly braces guys not square braces sorry guys for this okay okay so you can see guys it is solved now so our home page is imported here i'll see here whether how it is okay it is done so if i go here and if i check okay it is not visible so we'll check once again what is happening so if i go in home page dot jsx this is an home page okay so okay i'll restart once again guys npm dev run so on index page it should be home page okay so till then what i will do guys uh, it is running okay so we'll create another pages guys because we needed that pages okay so uh, in what happened npm oh 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 oh, oh, oh. Okay, so here I'll create one more page that is create page dot jsx. So this is one component. Page, home page is one component. Create page is one component. So RFC. Uh, I'll write this code and I'll write here like this is an create page. Okay. So we are creating pages because we needed this all pages. Okay, so if I go in app.jsx, here also I have to write that. Okay, so I'll take here root. Okay, so root is coming. So here we need to take this path. Okay, so path and I'll give root name as create, and here I'll call my element. So this I'll copy. So it will be like create page. Same name we need to give guys. Whatever the name is there. Okay. So here it is. C R E create page. Okay. So the two pages we have created. Now we'll see guys whether here it is working or not. Still it is loading. Why I don't know. Okay. Come. Paste it here. Okay. So if I Okay, if I go here and if I make it create, okay, it is not visible. I'll go here. Console. Create page is not defined. Occurred in app component. Okay, something error is coming. Is create page is not defined. Okay, create page. I think I have not imported here. Okay, I have to import. So I'll come here, control, shift, space. Okay. Okay. So you can see, guys, here I have imported create page. And now, if I go, see, guys, error will come. We need to see why this is coming and all. Okay. So one more error is there that we'll see. Router inside uh, another router, you should never have more than one in your app. Okay. So fine. So here, 
will not take a router guys will take here roots because it is creating problem okay so roots i'll take and just copy it come up here and write roots now we'll see guys here okay so you can see guys uh, our page is coming right means it is working now okay so this is my create page nothing error see you can see guys no error is there now if i go in home page it will tell this is an home page and if i go if i route to my create page it will tell this is an create page okay okay no errors fine good guys fine next what we will do guys this is done then one more page will create here suppose if, how much component you want you can create guys in pages okay means how much pages are there in your applications that you can create here so one more will create guys that is edit page dot jsx okay so rfc rf okay so i'll write the component and i'll write here this is an edit page okay done so i'll go in app.js same i have to do guys i'll create one more root here here i'll write like edit and here it will be like edit page okay just click here guys just type edit page click here it will automatically it will import here okay so edit page is imported so if i go here and if i check for edit root okay some error i got guys mm -hmm. considering an error boundary to customize error handling okay just check here edit page something okay okay you can see guys here i have taken edit page page two times okay now it is visible now if i go here there will not be any error okay you can see guys create is working if i go here edit is working if i come out from here it will be home page okay this all things are working fine next what we will do guys now we'll create one now bar because okay now but i will create guys now for that here in div only will take like now so here class name i'll take so background color will be will take gray and color will be 500 i'll take it here okay okay this is background color is fixed now what i'll take i'll take here one div in this do you also will take this class okay so container will use okay container and mx auto and padding will take 2 okay so two padding is there then next what we'll do is we'll take here one link that is a tag so what i will do is here we'll take one tag that is h2 okay so in will write guys like react front end okay fine and here we'll take talvin css so what i'll write guys uh, we'll take text as white because already background is this right uh, gray so text will take white and text length will take 2xl guys which is large will take and font will be bold okay so font will be bold will take okay this is done guys then next word guys see guys in uh, if you are using uh, react it will be link not a tag okay so i'll change this with link okay here i have to close okay link and this href will be 2 it's not like link and we need to import this link from react router dom so here i am importing fine so this is done guys so here we will give this as home page only right now so react front end now we'll check guys whether it is working or not if i go here you can see guys here i am getting react front end and suppose if i go here if i create make create i'll get this is create page okay if i click on this react front end we'll get a home page because we are redirecting this to home page here 
by using this okay so it is redirecting to home page now so next what we will do is now we'll take the data from back end to our front end in my home dot home home page okay means for example whatever the data is there guys for example you can see guys this is my api so here i'm getting some data right product name i'm getting amount name address you can take okay so here i'm getting so that only i want to show or i want to get in my home page whatever the home page is there here so that we will see now uh, so guys uh, to get data from back end so we need to declare some variables so so that variable we will declare now so just come here so we are using products right so i'll take here one product first uh, that is use state okay so const here is my products you can take different name also guys no issue okay then set products okay and here we'll take use state so it is imported you can see guys here also we need to import okay use state and here my array will be uh, sorry my products will be array guys because you can see guys whatever the data i'm getting it is in array okay so i have taken here array okay. so one i need this and one more i need guys uh one one more i need that is loading is loading means uh suppose when we run the product if products are loading that we need to show right so for that i'm using is loading whether it is loading like that it is okay is loading then set is loading okay loading set is loading then here initial state will be false guys here okay so i'll take here false done then next what we need to do guys to get the data from my api i have to write here one function so that i'll write now so for that i'll take const get product or products okay we are getting the products and here my arrow function will come okay so for that first uh, what i'll do guys i'll take try and catch because if any errors are there it will show me okay so i'll write here for error suppose if any error are there just give me in console console dot log and print this error okay then next first what we will do guys first we'll check that is set is loading means whether it is loading or not that we are checking so if any not means suppose if any errors are there then also it will show continuous load guys okay fine and if there is no error it will come here guys if error are there then it will show continuously loading and we can see error in our console if no errors then it will jump to here guys it will uh, take the uh, data from my back end okay so what i'll do i'll take here const response and i have to take data from my back end so i'll use your xos dot gate and here what will come guys here my api link will come So this is my API link. Fine. Uh, I am using your Axio, so here it will be like a wait. And if you are using here a wait, then here it should be a sync. Fine. Then next, what we will do, guys, we'll take this data in my console. I'll want to check whether I am getting data proper or not. Okay, and that will be in response dot data so i am printing this in console and after that what we'll do will give to my set products so set products and here same will take that is response dot data okay so after getting true, we need to make it false guys. After getting data, otherwise it will be in load position only. Okay, so I'll make here false. So after getting data, it will return to false. Fine. Then next, what we need to do is we need to call this right. So for that, what we will use, I will use here use effect. So when we use guys use effect use effect we call when the application is first load okay so whenever the first load is happening that time we are calling this method so for that i'll write here use effect
use effect and I'll take here okay this one callback method okay so in this we'll take here array and I'll call this So guys, uh, this we are calling that is get product matter when this first load, okay. So here we'll get the data. So what I'll do guys, I'll go, uh, means I'll run this and we'll see because my backend is already running. You can see here, it is running already. Just I'll check whether data is coming or not. I'll run this. I think I've stopped this. Okay, it is running. So I'm getting error guys so I have to check I'll refresh this uh, home page components are both error okay use effect is not defined fine guys I have to define this so I forgot that okay so just copy it use effect so I have to show here okay so you can see guys, I have taken use state also and use effect also. Okay, now I'll check. Okay, now you can see guys. So you can see guys, this is my home page. So if I go, I'll check whether I'm getting data on Axios is not defined. Okay, okay, I have not taken Axios. So first I have to check guys whether it is installed or not. So I'll go here package.json just check here whether exos is there so guys exos is not installed so i'll come from here okay go and just check for exos exos mm. okay so we'll install this you can install this by using this npn xos so install it okay then we need to use that so we'll check any documents available here import xos from xos okay this i have to use in my code that is home dot home page okay so i'm importing xos also it is installing also Okay, it is done. Now we'll see guys whether I'm getting data in console or not. Mm. Okay. What is happening? The site can't be rich. Refuse to run. I think I have to run. Sorry guys, I forgot to run this. So in pair run dev. So we'll check now. See guys, errors will come, so don't hesitate and all. You can easily solve the error. Just check in console what is what is coming and all. Because here I have taken this right. Because of this, I'm getting that error. What is error and all? In console, okay. So I'm in console now. If I go in console, you can see guys, I'm getting the data. You can see this is my data. So Belgum 400 camera one two three. Yes, guys, I'm getting the data okay okay so i'm getting data guys from my back end so we are successfully able to do this okay so uh today uh, because video is getting large guys so today we will finish here only and next part will come guys it will come tomorrow so stay tuned to my channel so in next part part what we will do is we'll take that whatever the because we can't see here data right so that data we will show here in home page okay so how to show that that you will get in my next video so guys stay tuned to my channel and guys if you're not getting anything in this video then guys please comment in comment box and if you're liking my videos then like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys